We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Mets and the Houston Astros. Ready now, Ahmed Rosario. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Count is one and two. Slider laid off for a ball. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Fouled off. Another try at 2-2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Therefore, it is Guriel, and there's one gone. Next up from New York, Robinson Cano. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. So here's Jeff McNeil. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Drill down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count offering on its way. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The first so a runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. Fastball well outside. A swing and a miss there, two and two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. And the inning is over. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1. And he popped him up. Davis in foul ground. But this will land untouched. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Looking up is Marisnik. Gone into the deck seats in center. Standing in now, Alex Bregman. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Cespedes is going back into the Crawford boxes and gone. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. The bouncer to the left side, and that's through for a hit. Into the box, Jordan Alvarez. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. It was a two for five effort from him in the series finale on Sunday. 
And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Michael Conforto, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. Here now the 2-2. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Last half of the second set to go. George Springer the next to hit. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Under it is Marisnik, one away. Here's Carlos Correa now in his career against Porcello. He's gone three for 11. The 1-1. One, one. Correa, left field and carrying well. And it's gone! Into the box now, Josh Reddick. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespedes is there. Two down. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs. He's hit the ground running right out of spring training. Entering this one with a batting average over 300. Sharp ground ball to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Stepping in now, Michael Brantley. Belted high and deep into right center. Right fielder looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. In now, Alex Bregman. Good swing there, but this is fouled off to the right side. Ready on one and two. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's ready for his first at-bat of his early season contest. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The one-two. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The two-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. The 2-2. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. The designated hitter, Robinson Cano. 
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Fouled away. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base now on ball. Number six. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. A bouncer up the middle. Altuve for one. Over to Guriel for an inning ending double play. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. One for one after a single this first time up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Striding oh, forward right. now is the D.H. Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and this is hit hard but foul toward the third base dugout. The 2-2. Two -two. A bouncer to the left side. Davis has got it. Throw on to first will get him. Score it 5-3 on the putout though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless there are two away now. So digging in now. Yuli Gurriel. Now the one and one pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Paul Seawall is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Paul Seawall. At the plate, George Springer. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Pitch on the way. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So a runner at first with two away. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Cespedes is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Next for the Mets, Pete Alonso. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And he fouls this one off. The bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. That's to two balls and two strikes now. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin now inning number four. So two are gone in the Mets half of the fourth. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. 
You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the court. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Riding in once again, Josh Reddick. He flew out in his last at-bat. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. This is on the ground over to first. To second for one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. Back to the top of the order now. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. The last at that man, D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. Third baseman number two. Allen. At the plate now, Alex Bregman. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back, second baseman. Okay. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve fouled off. Again, a 1-2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Waiting his turn on deck. Yoannis Cespedes. The 3-2 pitch. Full count still. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Reddick. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Digging in, Yoannis Cespedes. He drew a walk his first time up. The one-two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's Jake Marisnik. This guy's still the looking at a zero in the hit column. Jake Marisnik. A 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box, Ahmed Rosario. Still one and two. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. And it's fouled away. Two-two pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. 
for the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Striding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. The next one-two pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Coming to the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at-bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Cespedes is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Here's George Springer comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey, I don't care that that pitch didn't light up the radar gun. 89 miles an hour executed two-seamer is almost unhittable. Two and two the count. Fouled away. The two-two one more time. Is looked at and the count moves full. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The batter, number one, Chukov. To the plate now, Carlos Correa. No contact there, and it's one and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Conforto will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning, so Robinson Cano will grab a bat next. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the 2 1 pitch. Bouncer to the left side. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Number two. At the plate, Jeff McNeil. And this will be fouled away. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Cano on at first. Nobody out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. And the next will be the now Mets' that. cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. No hits to this point. Alonzo. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with now one that. away. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. The the Wilson. In now, Wilson Ramos. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Altuve has it. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. So here's Josh Reddick, a hit in two tries so far. Little chopper back to the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now 
Digging in to try it again. Garrett Stubbs. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Davis is there, and that's the second out of the inning. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, Michael Brantley. He singled his last time up. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Stepping in now, Alex Bregman. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now back, second baseman. Okay. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And this one will bounce into the wall. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Yordan. Standing in now, Yordan Alvarez. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Fastball just missed above the zone. Two and two count. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. A dive, and he knocks it down. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first, and there are two on and two out now. The first baseman, number 10. At the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. Pitch popped up. Alonzo is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Rogelio Armenteros will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Rogelio. New inning set to get underway. Arbenteros. Digging in. Yoenis Cespedes. He went down on strikes last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Stepping into the box, Jake Marisnik. He went deep last time up. One and one, here it comes. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. So base is empty now after the double play. And stepping up is the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Guriel has it, and the side is retired. Justin Wilson enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 38. Last half of the seventh here. Coming to the plate now, George Springer. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Here's the 1-1. Two balls, one strike. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the 2 1 pitch. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle. The three and one pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit.
Into the box now, Josh Reddick. Reddick behind the ball and two strikes. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Now batter. Two out with the man at first. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Nope, and he ball takes ball, ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. Scooped up on the first. And the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. Now to the plate, the Mets DH, Robinson Cano. Here's the 1 1 now to Cano. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now, now at the plate, Number Jeff hit. McNeil. Not providing much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Swing and a ball sliced fouled into the seats down the left field line. The one two. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Springer. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now so two are the gone in the Mets eight. half of the eighth. And up steps the power ball. bat of Pete Alonso. The three one. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Hit hard up the middle. There is Altuve. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. of inning number eight set to go and that'll bring up Alex Bregman he hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance and he's got to build off that last AB he battled usually when you battle you get in that swing mode a lot of pitches you'll swing at the rosin bag I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat let's see if we get more of the same right here ready once again Jose Altuve hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance now the 2 1. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. And that ball misses four, that ball four. four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Brad Brock comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Yuli Gurriel will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. First and second now, one man out. And he misses again, ball three. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d roll but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the runner from third crosses the plate, and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The batter, number one. Good stop. Into the box, Carlos Correa. This is foul right side. Bases are loaded with only one out. 
swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batter. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now batter. So stepping in, Garrett Stubbs. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Outside, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Count even at two and two. From the stretch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Ground ball foul down the left side. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a liner. And a leaping try there, but he comes up a bit short as this is into left center, the base hit. And the second run will score as well. Jerry Spamilia enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. In now, Michael Brantley. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And Frodo behind the ball in two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Now another one two. Outside, that's the ball. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Third base Into the box, J.D. Davis. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, and the Mets are down to their final out. Digging in, Wilson Ramos. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Brantley's after it, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Now back, left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. So now to the plate, Yoannis Cespedes. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Down the left field line and deep, and this will wind up a foul ball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Reddick has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. 12 to 2, the final score in this ball game. Houston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jose Urquidy earns his first win of the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Rick Porcello struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. 
Rogelio Armenteros takes the rare three inning save his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak and Heidi Watney. This is Matt Vaskersion. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.